Hey. Hey. Welcome back to episode five, this should be. We're back down here with the um, spider spawners and I've been working out a little way of doing uh, the killing area, uh, which you know, inside for a bit. Uh, basically, given given cave spiders can fit through a half slab, you need to do something like this. So we've got the two iron trapdoors. These slots here are where you can get the XP out, and then all the drops will go down into there. Okay only there's much of a collection needed as there's only two things they drop. Uh, and we're going to have a bubble column here, bringing them up and shooting them forward. So basically we need to... I'm going to drop them down here and take them under, I guess that might be a good idea. And then bring the other ones in, probably from to here. Probably block it up more. Coming in from the side. Should work in the bubble column. This one back here and through in. Might bogart our current way in, we can move that. Okay. That's it for now. Back in a bit. Okay, that's the first uh, first room built dugout. Um, I'm going to just use the water to wash the spiders down over this hole. Oops, wrong way. Uh, and then take them that way behind me and go then over to the killing chamber. Uh, I'm noting my pickaxe is running out though, so I may have to go and fix that. Alrighty, uh, we're back. Uh, I've been working on the three triple spider spawners, um, and things have been going pretty well. We've got the lighting in, I'll show you that. Um, it's a fairly straightforward, as, uh, as you may have seen before, we've got... Let's just put down... Four lights around the sides, one in the middle. Um, we're all currently powered. They do this by a uh, leap over here. This torch powers this one. Well, it switches off this this red stone lamp, switch, which means this one is on, which lights the block above the light. That also takes that into this central block, which lights the lights that one there. Oops, just want something, never mind. Um, then these three take the signal out. Let's use it to go this way. In the same way as the other one, switch off this torch, which switches this one on. Uh, and then we've got a signal coming in from over there, which goes into this repeater, which, when switched on, will switch that torch off, which switches all the lights off. This is currently link to that switch. Uh, also got a similar system up here. Again, this is the line coming in. And same over here with the line coming in again. So we can switch all of them on or off from the central point is here, like that. You can already hear one spider, but I think that's the one. There you go. Lights off now. That should switch off. Light the side. You can hear them spawning. If we pop down here, I've currently got us another viewing chamber. Right, there's one. There's a little. They get stuck there, but when they build up, they push through, or they wander up into the the stream coming up to the back of the killing chamber. 
There you go. They, because the cave spiders, they fit under the half slab, which keeps them touching the water, so they go straight down into a, uh, a magma block bubble. Uh, sometimes they stop, but then more of them come in, and they push each other along. Thank you, there you go, making my point. And he'll push that lad in. And then we'll zoom up. And put that little, little block above my head dance, they pop up in here. And then you swipe at them a bit. Obviously this is better without the server lag. And you dance to one side and let the XP come slowly out. Right. Uh, I'm thinking of having a enchanting table here. Obviously this is too wide, it doesn't fit particularly well. So it's going to be offset somewhere. I don't know whether to move it one over and have uh, one of the benches, which won't even be working, will it? One, two, three. I can't remember. Uh, one, two, three, nine, ten, eleven. I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, there's sixty. Yeah, so I think that works. If not, we can always go up one level more. Um, I guess what's good at this point would be to tidy it up. XP does sometimes get caught up in here. But, um, there's a way to get that. If you do it when they're there, they do have a tendency to uh, poison you, which isn't too bad. Come on, all the XP. Of course, drops are in here. While I'm here, a uh, big thanks to Spider Wolf Ninja for dropping off um, some fun books and some shulker boxes and shulker shells. That's my st that's some stuff I'm using in a bit. Uh, thank you again. It's been wonderful living next door. Cheers. Okay then, we're running our first test. Uh, put the interning table up there and a thing anvil. Uh, I've made a Bane of Arthropods 4 with some minor stuff on, so we can one shot these boys. Um, and we'll see how we go. Nothing too badly so far. Of course, this is minor levels, so. There you go. Okay, our farm is basically working. Uh, I'm up to 30 levels and I'm gonna chant a diamond sword. Got a Bane of Arthropods 4. So we get rid of this. Oh, sweeping edge 3, that's useful. Then we can merge it, and this will last longer than that thing, which I've had to repair already once, that's the wrong thing. So there we go, that should be a decent spider slicer. Uh, I need another seven levels. Guess we'll see how that goes. Well, 
as you can see, farm's working. Um, there are literally a few bugs in the system. Uh, not entirely sure how to fix this sort of thing. I feel like making it all flat so that they all they all end at this point, so that they're at the lowest, and they slide under the half block, half slab, half slab is it? I know we will say half slabs, but they're technically just slabs. A half slab would be a quarter. Anyway, it's taking a little while. I've been making no possibilities for the world's most powerful wooden shovel, but finally. Looting 3 is available, once we're up at 30. So, uh, 28. And a few more of these guys gone. Oops. Come on, die, all of you, die. Give me your delicious experience. Because this is certainly an experience. Thirty levels. Uh, okay, we also need the lapis. I don't know. I went really sibilant on the end of that lapis. Maybe it's because of all the spiders that are lumming around. And let's grab the looting three sword. Bah. Oh well. It's what we wanted. I got their revenge. Alright, um, XP farm update. A uh, lot of spiders here, fun. Um, I moved the thing forward one so you can stand here and hit them all. Uh, badly in that case. That's better there. Um, without having to dash forward to, to kill them and come back, so it's probably easier. It does allow them to jump up like that, and means the XP gathers here, but it's a little dangerous. Because if one pops up at the wrong time, it'll poison you. It's not too bad though. You just time it right, and get them as they come along. Okay, you're over there. You still get them one step behind like that. And the XP falls down the side. Right, uh, better day a bin. And get rid of stuff. Throws it under a cactus. Around the back here, I've got a small, but may expand it. Um, sugarcane farm for which you can trade for emeralds and then get bookcases to use books for the enchanting thereof. A bit of a crap librarian, all said and done. I can finish. Oh, that's not too bad, but this one is fairly terrible. 30 for Curse of Vanishing and 14 for Riptide 1. Uh, I'm hoping maybe to get a like an, uh, was it an archer they do? Fletcher alongside, then you can use the string for something useful and get more emeralds. And that's the state of play. Alright, um, 
a little time spent here and we've got some armor as well as well as our smite sword um, looting, smiting for the undead um, gonna put mending and stuff on these okay looks like we're all done um, three protections, fire protection and the uh, sword built for slaying withers let's see what we get up to next episode Bye. <laughs>